Well, I'm sure we're going to have more people, more people trickling in because that's how these things always work. Um, and uh, we have some people that are setting up that plan on joining us, but they're in the middle of setting up as well. Uh, but we're going to kick off with our uh, time of worship here. Um, so I want to thank uh, Don and Huntley for prioritizing their busy schedules to be here and to bless us with uh, just in, uh, encouraging us in our worship of the Lord. Well, let's open in a word of prayer, and then they'll take off. All right, Heavenly Father, thank you for the privilege of worshiping the name of the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We're thankful that our worship is a pleasing offering before your throne through the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We ask your blessing on our time this morning. May our hearts be encouraged as we worship you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Welcome. That, that works, works, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we weren't sure exactly how many would be here, but it looks like many people that like to worship uh, showed up today. And what, because we're uh, celebrating 175 years, um, I thought it would be good to just have an informal time, like an old-fashioned hymn sing, where uh, we pull out some of these hymns that we haven't, maybe sung in 30, 40, 50 years, and, uh, but probably still know by memory. And just have a good time uh, worshiping, uh, and we're going to be taking requests. And uh, then also, I thought it would be kind of neat to uh, share some words of testimony, uh, just memories of what this church, uh, how it's influenced your life. And, uh, and I told Kathy, I'm hoping to hear from some charter members today. <laughs> we might get close, but we won't get there. But uh, anyway, let's turn, just to start things off, let's turn to 569. Good old hymn, Living for Jesus, A Life That Is True. And be thinking about something you could share, all right? Yeah, yeah, probably, probably good, good to have a hymnal, wouldn't it? Jesus. 
Jesus, Lord and Savior, I give myself to Thee, for Thou in Thy atonement, Thyself for me, I own no other master, my heart shall be the throne, my life, my gift, henceforth to the fourth verse, all right? Living for Jesus through this little while, my dearest treasure, the light of his smile, seeking the lost one, he died to redeem, bring Find rest in him, O oh, Jesus, Lord and Savior, I give myself to thee, for thou in thy atonement didst give thyself for me. I My life I live, henceforth to live, O Christ, for Thee alone. Oh, what a nice start. Very nice start. Uh, anyone see a request yet? For a song, yes. What was that? 441, and then we'll have another one here. 441. Uh, very nice. And what will the next one be? 490. 497 will be the next one. Softly and tenderly. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. See on the portals, he's waiting and watching, watching. Tell you what, Huntley, why don't you lay off on the second verse unless you're what this choir sounds like, all right? Why should we tarry? Thank you. 
Let's read it in unison, all right? Oh, for the wonderful love he has promised, promised for you and for me. Though we have sinned, he has mercy and pardon, pardon for you and for me. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, thank you for that one. Now, the next one? 497. Wonderful grace of Jesus. How shall my tongue describe it? Where shall praise begin? Taking away my burden, setting my spirit free. For the wonderful grace of Just like, like the, the old days. days. Yeah. Yes. 
people need the Lord. People need the Lord. At the end of broken dreams is the open door. People need the Lord. People need. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to have Huntley play that again. And while he's playing it, let's pray for those people around us. We need the Lord. Those around us need the Lord. This community needs the Lord, all right? As Huntley play, plays, let's pray, all right? Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for every opportunity you give us to represent you. And Lord, as we sing this song, as we hear the melody, we're reminded that you could be coming back any day, and there's so many that need to hear the good news. Lord, I pray that everything we say, everything we do would represent you in such a way that others would come to you. And, and be with us for eternity. Lord, I pray this church will continue to be a lighthouse to this community. Again, that those that don't know you will. And they will see that there's something here that they need. We pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. That was a good one. Thank you. 616. You got to be louder, Patty. Which one did you want? Six, six, sixteen, and then two, forty-two. All right. Through it all. Through it all. Through it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus. And I've learned to trust in God through it all, through it all. I've learned to depend upon His Word. 175 years, and then we sing the song, Through It All, Through It All. I've learned to trust in Jesus. How about a word of testimony from someone? How is this? How has the ministry of this church touched your life? Surprised you, didn't I? Okay, Patty, you had your hand up first. Hold on a second. I know I shared this before, but in 1980, my husband brought me to this church, and I've always been a staunch Catholic. But um, through this church and through the wonderful teaching that I received under the many ministers who shared the word with us, I found salvation in 1986 um, and was baptized south of here in the swimming pool. So under Pastor Easton. No, Pastor Frost. It was Pastor Frost. So I really am very grateful. I came, I'm sorry, for me, I came to, um, I started off at Pastor Steve's Father's Church in Neighborville um, back about almost 16 years ago. And back then, I was homeless and caught up in drug addiction. And I was under the, the lie of the devil where he had me convinced that Jesus died for everybody but me. And under the Schroeder's leading, of course, thank God they're following God, um, they worked with me for many years, and eventually I ended up here, which ultimately just brought me to Christ and continued to work with me through struggles that I face 
daily, and I have more of a heart to serve God now than before. And now I have a heart to reach those that the devil are also deceiving. Someone else? Hi, Patty, Patty, what was your son? 242, in, in the garden. garden. I got to say a word about that song, Through It All. That was a song when my mom was uh, suffering with cancer. She would call me sometimes, the Kathy remembers this, about 2 o'clock in the morning, the phone would ring, and my mom, she wouldn't even know what time of the day it was. She was suffering, and... And she would say, Donnie, will you sing me my song? And uh, that, that song, uh, I, I kind of choked my way through it at her funeral. But through it all, through it, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. And, you know, that's the hope that we have as believers is, is eternity. And uh, I'm just so thankful I get to see her again. And uh, she's passed at the age of 42. But uh, you know what? Through it all, through it all. She taught me how to trust in Jesus, and uh, what a legacy that we can all leave to those around us. All right, and then, of course, this is my grandma's favorite song, In the Garden. <laughs> uh -huh. I come to the garden alone. singing would be with uh, 
with not that many people here, but right from the start, it was good and it keeps getting better. So thank you all for, for being here and joining us. And we're just halfway through. Uh, another favorite or another 679. I'd, I'd, I'd love, love to hear a few, few more testimonies, testimonies too, if we, we could. could. If, if you, you have, have something. something. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing His grace in the mansion, bright and blessed, He'll prepare for us a place when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus, we'll sing. And shout the victory While we walk the pilgrim pathway Clouds will overspread the skies But when traveling days are over Not a shadow, not a sign oh, When we all get to heaven What a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Let us then be true and faithful, trusting, serving every day. Just one glimpse of him in glory will the toils of life repay. When we all get to heaven. Listen, my Uncle Earl used to be the song leader in the church I grew up in. And his rules, when we got to that word shout, we were supposed to do it. So why not? All right, when we get to that, this is the last time through, and we'll sing and do what? Yeah, we'll do better than that. All right. Onward to the prize before us, soon his beauty will behold. Soon the pearly gates will open, we shall tread the streets of gold. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Well, that wasn't too bad. All right. We'll sing and shout the victory. Remember Chuck Woolley? Uh, Chuck, I was asking him one day uh, when Kathy and I lived across the street in the parsonage, and, uh, and I was over here cut, cutting grass every once in a while, and uh, there's a, you'll, you'll all see it when you go out, but there's a little cement thing right in the back of the lot. You ever notice that? There's just a little cement truck, and I asked Chuck, I said, you know what that was for? And he, and he said, that's, that's where we, we used to hook, hook up our horse and buggies when we used to come to church. church. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a, a nice, nice little piece of history that you might not have known about, huh? But, but yeah, yeah, when you go out now, you'll, you'll see that little, little, little cement, cement strip, strip, and that's, that's an old foundation for the old barn for the horse and buggies. So how about that, huh? Yes. I'll just share a, a, a quick testimony. Um, so you all know that God brought us here. But God actually used this church to bring a lot of healing for Rachel and I because when we had been at a church plant in Chicago, um, when you're doing a church plant, it takes 110% of your effort and all of your emotion. And when that got closed down, it was one of those, well, God, see, I told you I wasn't called to be a pastor. That's a bad idea. And uh, when uh, the Lord uh, brought us out here, uh, in my mind... Well, I was, uh, you know, willing, but I wasn't the right guy. And yet the, the love of the church and the care of the people has uh, just been such a huge blessing. And uh, really, really thankful that God brought us here. 
If we could sing uh, uh, hymn number, number 21, 21, How Great Thou Art. Does anyone know that one? Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds I can't have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, my Let's sing, right? Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How
this. I'm glad they did. This is fun. You can sit down if you like. Stage. I have stage fright. <laughs> um, when I was five years old, my family moved to Big Rock from a Christian church in Aurora, and we settled on the west side of the plowing grounds that were six, seven acres across the track. And we started the Baptist church. So I was five years old with five kids, one and a twin brother, and we grew up in this church, um, Sunday school, Bible school, camp, church camp, uh, youth fellowship, choir, little kid choir. I had kids who all of them had shoe and choir. Uh, and I was a wise man in the Christmas club. You know, all of that stuff. And uh, we would have devotions every night at supper. And you better listen, because there were three questions at the end. Uh, but my father and mother were good Christian people. My sister was a win. Some of you know her. <clears throat> Don. And Dana, Patty's husband, is my little mother. But I was baptized at 13 here. And I stayed in this church till I was, uh, when I graduated from college, and then I left. And I had a long journey through life, and during COVID last year, I lived just west of here in uh, Waterloo. I wandered in here because uh, the mask Nazis weren't in force here. So, and it just felt so good to come home. Don and I have a kind of unique history here because we came for the first time 46 years ago and we attended for four years and then we left for 10 and then we came back for four and now we've been gone for 30 but you have supported us as your missionaries for that entire time. Um, but the two things that are special to me about this church, uh, one, I was raised in a church in a good Christian home but it was a church that did infant baptism, and um, I, uh, later in my life, wanted to make a public profession of my faith. And so I was baptized in this church by Pastor Easterling. And then the other thing that's really special to me, you know, the foundation that your children have is so important. And this was their first Sunday school and their first vacation Bible school because they were very small the first time we were here. And uh, many of you taught them, babysat them. And uh, so we have very fond memories and are so grateful for that early foundation that our children received here. Hundred and seventy fifth anniversary, hymn number one seventy five, and Don was saying that there's a line in there that's very appropriate. On this day earth shall ring with the song children sing to the Lord Christ our King, born on earth to save us, him the Father gave us. Let's give it a shot, all right? On this day, earth shall sing, with the song children sing, to the Lord Christ our King, born on earth to save us, Him the Father gave us, His the doom 
Whoops, Whoops sorry, Hanley, I, I, I cut, cut you, you off. off. Go, Go ahead, ahead, give us our intro. intro. Into the doom our slumber Whoops. One he came down to earth Bethlehem saw his birth Ox and ass beside him From the cold would hide him You know what? I have never heard that before. Can you tell? It was worth a try. Yeah, yeah words, words, words were good. good. Yes. I hear a 477, and then I heard something from over here. So 514 will be after 477. Submission, perfect 
the street, um, you can imagine when you're a trumpet player, um, let's just say the family likes a little peace and quiet once in a while, and uh, so I would come over here and I would practice and have this room to myself, and, and it, it would often turn into a time of worship as I would sit and play some, sometimes I'd just open the hymnal and go through it and play song after song, and uh, every once in a while I'd find out somebody had snuck in and was listening in the next room, if I'd have known that I wouldn't have made so many mistakes, but uh, but, but no, that's, those, those are good, good memories. memories. And, and of course, course I, look I look around and I see friends, friends lifelong friends that, uh, that we made here. And, and one of them uh, is the guy sitting at the piano. piano. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, what it was, was a special day. day. When, when an orchestra, orchestra with, with ten, ten fingers, fingers showed up, and I was invited to come and do a couple of songs, and Huntley was here, he was fresh from Jamaica, and... Well, well, you've been, been here, what, about a year or two? Okay, okay that's, that's pretty fresh, Kathy. Kathy. All right. Kathy, Kathy sits, sits in the front, front so she can correct me if I'm wrong. wrong. But, but, uh, but anyway, he was young, I was young, young and now we're old, and, and we're still, still friends. friends. And uh, I, just I just remember, remember looking, looking at him and saying, Huntley, you're, you're like an orchestra with ten fingers. fingers. Let's, let's, let's do a song together. We're going to do it outside when we go out there later, but we're going to treat our outside time Kind of like when I go to Huntley's house and we practice. Uh, he's got some new songs that he wants me to hear, and we're going to practice them on you guys if you don't mind. And we're just going to have a very informal time where uh, I get to learn some new songs and new arrangements, and, and uh, we're just going to, well, a musical term, play it by ear. Uh, kind of like we have this hour. But you know what, Huntley, uh, the, the memories of you sitting at this piano... Um, I don't want to. I don't want to spend it all outside. You brought your speaker in, and you're prepared to share share something with us. I'm sure. Do you have a song or two that you could share? I'll be here tomorrow sharing as well. And you know, um, we serve a good God. We serve a wonderful God, and we give God thanks for 75 years. But this him says amazing grace of through the sound. Don, join, join me as well. Everybody, Everybody just sing with me. We'll put the track on as well. Number, number 502, five we'll do verse 1. Verse 2, verse 4, and verse 5. Amazing grace of through the sound. Like I said, we're going to practice. <laughs> A 
I once was blind, but now I see. We give God thanks. We give Him praise. Sing with us. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved the Grace at all. When we've been there 10,000 years by shining as the sun, we have no less days to praise, to worship, to declare He's King of Kings, He's Lord of Lords. Go ahead, stand on your feet. Let's worship our great God. When we've been there 10,000 years, where? You know, um, this song simply says, for every mountain, he's brought us over. For every trial, you mentioned trials, he's seen us through. We give him thanks and we give him praise.
we give him thanks and we give him praise for 175 years God has taken us through some challenges of praise by saying for every mountain you brought me over and you for every trial you see me through and you through for every blessing For this I, we give you praise. For every mountain. Thank you. What you call on right now? All right, time to move on. Pastor, what's next? Oh, what, what, what if we uh, close this with uh, uh, Temple Chorus 98, Majesty, Worship His Majesty? And we can all sing, uh, sing ourselves out and then move outside and enjoy some food and fellowship and, and a little bit some more music.
Can we say the blessing in here, maybe? And, all right. Lord, you are the giver of, of everything. Uh, Lord, we thank you for how you provide for us on a, on a daily basis, Lord. And Lord, as we enjoy this meal, I thank you that this church is reaching around the world and supporting those that don't have as much, Lord. And I pray your, your blessing on the, on, the, uh, on the mission offerings that go out from here, Lord, and, and ask that uh, they would be used wisely and, and in a way that would glorify you. And Lord, as we enjoy this meal, we know we're blessed. And so we give you thanks. And we thank you for all those volunteers that have uh, put this meal together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Just don't want it to end, huh? <laughs> that was fun. Thank you. I see Jerry Rose came in. Nice to see you, Jerry.